So let's see how we can make this web page look a little bit better using a background in Google Fonts. Uh, so I made a copy of my Project One folder in brackets, and then I've created the style sheet. Uh, and all I'm doing really is I'm I'm setting the background image, and and then I've added a, a font family. And let's see what that does to how my web page looks. That looks a lot better. Now, uh, in the old days, we were limited to really simple fonts. And um, now, a lot of people use web fonts. So one that uh, I like to use, a, a, I really like to use Google Fonts because they're, they're really simple to implement. Um, so here I am on the Google Fonts website. And um, so I'm going to find a simple sans serif font that that's going to look good for the body text. Uh, you don't want to get too fancy there. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll just choose uh, Roboto. And then for my, uh, for my header, I want something that looks a little more interesting. So I can scroll through until I see something that I like. Um, here's one that's definitely interesting, so I'll, I'll choose that. Now once I've selected my fonts, I just um, click to bring up the code that I would just copy and paste into my, uh, into my documents. So I'm going to um, go ahead and import um, the styles. Now with, when I do it this way, um, what I can do is just take this line and copy and paste it into either my embedded styles on my web page or into my external style sheet. Now you can also take this line and copy and paste it into your head tag. Well, I think this way is a little bit easier because if I have uh, you know, like a hundred pages and one style sheet, I could just paste this once into my style sheet. So let me go back to brackets and go back to my styles. And then at the very top of this page, I'm going to paste in that import. Okay, so the next step is that I have to use these rules in, in my um, CSS. So I'll just copy those and go back to brackets. And then just let me paste those in to get them in there. So um, let's say for my body, I want to set my font family. Instead of Verdana, I'm going to set it to um, Roboto, or maybe it's Roboto, who knows. And then, you know, for my heading, I'm just going to go ahead and set my H1 tag um, so that the font family is this other font called Chewy. So I can save that out, go back to my resource page, and then let's see if that worked. And you can see that um, it worked, and now I have something that looks even more interesting. Um, so hopefully you got a sense of how you could use those Google fonts. It's, it's a really fun way to add some personality to your web page.